Hey everybody, I wanted to start the day off a little differently today because I actually started the day off a little bit differently today and that was by visiting Compton Airport in Southern California and the great Robin Petgrave, a chief pilot and president of Celebrity Copters Helicopters, has created a museum and quite an experience for kids down in Compton and this is just part of the complex that I'm showing you right now. What you just saw was one of the first electric planes in the nation. Uh, there's a couple of them and um, I guess they're about six dollars an hour to actually, the cost of, of, of functioning one of these airplanes is about six dollars an hour. It was such a cool, such a cool little plane. Um, got to look inside of it a little bit, and then uh, the rest of what you're seeing is just uh, some of the some of the stuff outside uh, at the Compton Airport. But we were able to go inside as well, which I don't have much footage or I don't have any footage of. But we were able to go inside and check out the program that uh, Robin has created for ages six to twenty-one to create. Um, a system for students to engage in aeronautical and aerospace engineering. So, so cool. Yeah. Like a seasoned pro, Lauro goes through the checklist. Buenos dias and happy, happy Thursday, everybody. Just got done with a two and a half mile run with colleagues. That is the best way. Enoch, thanks for pushing me. Man, he pushed me. We were sprinting. Well, it felt like this old man was sprinting. It felt good. Now I'm sitting in my air-conditioned car trying to cool down. I'm sweating like a dog. Going home, going to take a shower, getting this night started. Let's go! Hey guys, I'm home and day has turned to evening and I just felt like going for a skate, I'm going to the local Starbucks, just go have a little coffee before uh, we get to go and do some more work. Alright, when I get back, a bit more about what I was talking about in last night's vlog, or in yesterday's vlog, about a few of the suggestions you guys gave me. Yeah. So yeah, I just got back from Starbucks. That was a nice skate. And so before I walked in here to film this, just just let's say I was having a little fun with my hat. Check this out. Got a couple nails in the wall, you put your hat up there. Well, when you need your hat, you scoop it up. You gotta walk away. Right there. A nail on the wall, you just... Anything about the nail? Oh! Oh. <laughs> it is, this is the winner. Oh! Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's just me and Jax having a little fun. I don't know what got into me. I, we have a couple we got a couple nails on the wall that there used to be a picture hanging from there, but we haven't replaced the picture with something else, so I nailed the hat on the head challenge. Yes. So, most definitely, thank you so much to everybody for chiming in on my question of the day yesterday, and that is advice and thoughts on what I should potentially do with either a second YouTube channel or where to place different type of content. It might not be necessarily vloggy, even though, you know, the, and, and I totally understand that this is my channel and I appreciate all the sentiments and I know that, I know that there's a lot more work that would go, go into building a, another channel. And again, I don't know, I don't know if I'm clear. I do, before Buenos Dias vlog channel ever existed, I had, t and I, I have, 
I had and I have teach using technology, which is more of my education side YouTube channel. I started a long time ago, but I've stripped it clean and all I have is a promo on it sitting on it right now. After I finish this video tonight, I am going to shoot my next video for that channel. I feel like I need to get started. I've held off. I've really held off from starting anything. I've been waiting to get the office space up and running because I wanted a certain feel. I know I can get the job done right here and I'm going to. I just need to get started with that. I have I have tons of energy. I have tons of willpower to do it. I just need to get started. That's just, that's, that's half the battle. Still deciding on what to do, a different type of non-vlog content. And I know that I'm gonna keep some of it on here for sure, no doubt about it. But I, I think I'm going to dabble in creating stuff on my, my Buenos Dias vlog Facebook page and also onto Instagram and Twitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit. I would love to engage with you there. So I want you to check something out. So I got this a while back, but I have not opened it yet. I ordered a, hold on. So I got this box here. It's a tripod. The tripod that my camera is sitting on right now is a Vanguard product. And I'm, I was really happy with it. There was only one thing that I, well, there, there's two things that were bothering me, but one was really bugging me. And that was the, the horizontal movement of the head of the tripod that I couldn't do is actually, like I, I might've over tightened. I, I got some vice grips and I was able to loosen it and it's back to normal. Oh. That's why you don't open boxes with pens. Just ruin that. Manfrotto. There's a little guy. Uh, probably about a foot and a half long. Vanguard, definitely more of a camera-based tripod, the one that it's sitting on, and stable and static does the job. This one though, you can take it out on the road and get yourself some nice, oh, this is nice. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about, yeah. This is a very, very nice, now this, now this tripod itself, Manfrotto, there's no buttons and adjustable, adjustable extensions to get a wide base. Both of these tripods have a lot to offer. Thanks again, gang, for all the support. I appreciate everything you do for me on this vlog and the communication that we have together. I will see you again tomorrow. Remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life. And when you're having that fun, do not forget to keep it fun enough. We're going to do this again tomorrow. Woo!